Hmm. This is probably the first time I've ever used MemTest86 when it actually showed an error. There's actually 12 errors. Four on each pass, looks like. Just testing some new memory. I got some DDR400 and it's not passing the test. They're uh, crucial sticks, one gig each. And uh, I bought a couple just to populate because this computer here only had uh, one gigabyte. Here it goes, it had this in it, which is really pretty. But it's only 256 megabytes. Well, there's four of them in there. And uh, this is really heavy, by the way. And uh, and they work well. They pass their, you know, good memory chips. Very, like I say, very pretty and very, very heavy. Uh, but it's, it's only one gigabyte. So I wanted to upgrade this to two, and I got these here, this Kingston, this passed the test, both of these passed the test uh, five times. I did five passes with it on mem test, and this is a one gig, they're both one gig sticks, and uh, they did a good job. These are also... Uh, one gig sticks. I'm going to test these next. I'm going to pull these out. These these are no good. These are going to go back to the eBay seller. And, uh, you know, this came from a computer recycling store on eBay. I'm not going to mention any names. But you would think they would run uh, since it's a free program, <laughs> you think they would run this and just check and make sure it's good before they ship it out. Uh, this has actually been running for quite some time, and it's only made three passes. The other chips made five or six passes by the time, uh, by the same time here. But it's Pentium 4. Nothing fancy, running at 3.2 gigahertz, single core processor, 848 chipset, ECC disabled. It's running dual channel. Uh, these uh, memory chips actually did not post when I first turned the computer on. The computer made a series of really uh, aggravated beeps. It finally did post, and then when I when it booted this up, it just gave all kinds of errors. So we're gonna go ahead and hit escape and just oops, kill it. There we go. And we'll get these out of here. I mean, Crucial is a good name. This is actually the first stick of memory from Crucial that I've ever had that didn't work. It doesn't work. Or one of them's bad. I Maybe I could just run mem test with just one of them in there. Then that's a thought. Maybe I should do that. In that case, since I'm not going to do dual channel, I'll just stick one in the first slot. It's kind of hard to do this with holding the camera. There we go, that snapped in good. Hit the, hit the power switch. And then you gotta hit this. Got a bunch of noisy, it's an old case. It's got all these 80 millimeter fans in here. I like that one up there, it's kinda cool. Uh, oh, there it is, I saw it. Boot the floppy. Well, we'll run this on this one single single stick and see how it does. Okay, well, I already turned the computer off, but this memory stick here had errors. This one here. 
We're going to try the other one. I said before, this is hard to put this in. There we go. Well, the other one passed the post test, but it didn't pass the mem test. Let's see what it does. Well, there we go. We'll let that run. I'm gonna get a magic marker, either write bad on here or snap this in half, so I don't. It's, it's no good. Well, I can't snap it in half because uh, I have to send this back to the. E bear. So yeah, I'll leave that there. Like I said, this thing's got some noisy dang fans in it. But every one of these fans, none of them run off the motherboard. They all run directly off 12 volts, so they're all at full power. Not my favorite way to run fans. But they did do some pretty good. Uh, cable routing. Nice setup. So that's why I'm thinking Alienware or somebody professional did this. Did this original setup. Anyway, I'll let that run its test. Well, so far so good. It's made one pass with no errors. That's the second stick of uh, crucial memory. We'll let it run just a little bit longer. I like to get, since it's already shown, this, one of these sticks has shown bad, I'm going to let it run at least three passes, if not more, just to make sure. But so far so good. Well, I tested these individually. This one works perfectly. That one is bad. Now I'm not sure what made this bad because I don't see anything wrong with it I mean the contacts look good I don't know just got a bad chip I guess